Ethiopia was about to give the most fervent welcome to a visiting head of state in its long history. It was renewing the close association with Britain as the Queen's aircraft drew near. People had trekked in, many from as far as a hundred miles away. For the Emperor, this was a proud moment. He spent the years of his exile in Britain. And now, as the BC-10 taxied in, Haile Selassie was, in a measure, returning the hospitality. The Crown Prince was in the welcoming party when the Queen and Duke left the airliner after a flight of 3,700 miles. Boys, who are the sons of officers, had a wonderful view. The 74-year-old Emperor was as dignified as always, the very personification of regal courtesy. The Crown Prince walked with the Duke of Edinburgh. All along the five-mile route to the Emperor's Palace, thousands of Ethiopians acclaimed their royal visitor. It is said that Haile Selassie's ancestry can be traced back nearly 3,000 years to the Queen of Sheba. But there is little of antiquity about modern Addis Ababa. For eight days, Her Majesty was to be the Emperor's guest. In the palace grounds, lions guard the Lion of Judah, a touch of the remote past obtruding on the 20th century. The Emperor assured the Queen that he will never cease to be grateful for British help in liberating his country after the Italian occupation. Africa Hall, headquarters of the United Nations Mission to Africa, and presented by the Emperor to his people, was visited next day. Ethiopia, a very old nation, is in many ways the leader of the new African independent states. The Queen particularly admired the huge stained glass window. Sixty thousand schoolchildren in the Haile Selassie Stadium lived up to the standard to which the Queen and Duke have been accustomed on the many tours where they have shown interest in the new generation. Spear, a six-year-old chestnut sired by the 1949 derby winner Nimbus, was one of the Queen's gifts to the Emperor. The stallion was flown out from Windsor a few days earlier. On the race course, the tribesmen gathered in their native glory to display for the Queen's benefit the traditional Ethiopian form of a tournament. Spears without points made it fairly sure there'd be no bloodshed in the Queen's presence, though in the absence of royal visitors, they don't mind. But what a spectacle and thrill it was when the show really got underway. A bit of old Ethiopia for the benefit of the Queen.